You're I'm ready back. to go. Okay. You're ready to go. Well, thank you very, very much for allowing me to come to your symposium. It's been very interesting. First time I've been to something like this. And uh, I feel as though it's a, it's a privilege to be with you this afternoon, gentlemen, and ladies, I suppose. Um, so this is a short presentation, and it's really reaching out to Africa if they're interested in joining in this project that has come out of last year's virtual conference. Uh, held by the IARU Region 1. And basically the theme was, how do we sustain the hobby? Where do we see ourselves in 10 years? And that was based on diminishing numbers. So out of that conference came strategic objectives. And one of the strategic objectives is strategic objective number eight, which is what I'm involved with. Um, this is the team headed up by Edgardo. And the guy that's done this presentation, I thank him, is Hussein. And the Priorities within the brainstorming activity were drawn up. So right at the top was to develop a toolkit from special capabilities to be used by member societies, including standardized training, information sharing, etc. So that in a bit more detail is basically trying to get more member societies to talk to one another. And those that are like ours, just starting off really, gain access to resources that can help them promote the hobby and bring more people into it. So we're building this toolkit and inside the toolkit, basically, at the moment, we've got, we need a video conferencing platform. Now, your Blue Jeans video conferencing platform is very interesting. And I'm, I'm interested in how that is sort of funded and stuff like that. I mean, I suppose, Hans, you have to pay for that, do you? Yeah. Yeah. So what we're saying is maybe some member societies who don't have a lot of money could jump on a centralized video conferencing platform that's subsidized by the ARU Region 1 and enjoy the flexibility and the sophistication like you get in Blue Jeans. And then they might want to pull down some electronic promotional leaflets or access YouTube promotional films. As you can see here, pre-recorded seminars, list of upcoming events, PR material. And the one that I'm also interested in is the list of license cost and if possible versus the minimum income per capita if it's possible, to get a, an idea of, for example, in Seychelles, I think the cost of a license is very expensive when you think about how much the people earn here. So I go to lobby government and they say, well, go and collect your evidence. So I'm trying to reach out to the rest of Africa and say, how much does your licenses cost? And I was, I was invited to the IARU Africa WhatsApp group. And there are uh, a lot of member societies in Africa in there. And I think there's a representation by South Africa. Um, I was told to try and find Dennis Green, but I don't see him in this symposium. 
but I'm, I'm, I'm sort of asking Saul, what do they think about this project? What else do they think should be in the toolkit? And would they be interested in participating in this initiative? So it's, it's back to you, Hans, and open to the floor, really. Hey, Richard. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much.